Hi everybody, this is going to be an introduction to writing electron configurations and how to use the periodic table to help you write them quickly. So we're going to start out here, we're going to say these numbers on the side here, this 1, this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, are the energy level numbers, um, and that they're actually an infinite number of energy levels, but effectively we only use seven of those infinite number of energy levels because they get they keep getting closer and closer together and so you wind up only having seven effective levels. Um, then this section right here, this pink section, is called your S section and it can hold two electrons. Okay, This section over here is your P section and the P section can hold six. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six columns. It can hold six electrons in that section. This middle section here is the D section. Okay, my D section, and that can hold 10 electrons. And this section down here is my F section, and it can hold 14. So let's jump right in. Um, let's try something like fluorine here. So fluorine has nine protons in its nucleus. It's got an atomic number of nine, which means it also has nine electrons. So, but those nine electrons are not like they were in Bohr. When we did Bohr on our last video, um, we would have said that there were two electrons on the first level and seven on the second level. But Bohr was a simplification, and we're going to try and break that out a little uh, and add a little more detail to it. So in order to get to number nine, we have to start with number one. Now, our first electron is actually in the first energy level, energy level one, and it's in the S section. And we're going to go through one and two, and that'll be the only electrons on our first energy level. So we're going to go through that, but then there's nothing else up there. So we've got two. So let's change colors here. Uh, if we go to green. This first number right there is our energy level. Excuse my handwriting. Energy level. Um, this letter here is the orbital that those electrons are in or the section of the level that it's in. And then finally, the two here is the number of electrons in that section. So we're on the first level, S section, two electrons in there. But we're only at two electrons and we need to get to nine electrons. So let's continue onward. So we've already ex exhausted everything on the first level. So we'll pick it up again with our third electron, which is on the second level, second level. And the next two electrons will be in the S section. And there are two of them there. So now we've accounted for two, four of our total of nine electrons. But we still have to keep going. So we'll keep going right across our second energy level and pick up here and we'll go one, two, three, four, five. So we'll be on the second level in our P section and we'll be five electrons into that P section. So one S2, two S2, two P5. Okay. So if we take a look at that, Bohr would have said that we should have seven, it's in the 17th family, so it should have seven outside electrons. And it kind of looks like there's only five outside electrons, but we have to take a more detailed look and say that everything on the second energy level here is actually an outside electron. And so my seven electrons are actually five in a P section and two in an S section. So Bohr was right, but just missed a little bit of detail there. Okay, I also want to tell you that we're on ptable.com again and that um, I'm on the orbital tab so we're no, no longer on the isotope tab and that the interesting thing about this orbital tab here is that if I actually click fluorine it will give me the electron structure 1s2, 2s2, 2p5 just like we had. It'll also give me a readout of which where the electrons are and which ones are paired and which ones are unpaired. So it'll tell you my 1s2 electrons are paired, my 2s2 electrons are paired, and I have five 2p electrons, two of them are pairs, one of them is a single. Okay, so I want you to pause the video right now. I'm going to erase this, and I want you to think about what would phosphorus's 
electron structure look like. So give that a try, and then we'll get back together and check it out. Okay, so you had a chance to try that. Phosphorus is number 15, so I'm going to have to have 15 total electrons. So starting here, I've got, I'm going to start on the first energy level. First energy level, S section, there's two atoms, one, two. But that's it for the first. So we've got to go to the second energy level, and I'm going to go through two atoms. Two, so I'll have two electrons. And then I'm going to have to go all the way through here. And that'll be my two level, second level, P section, six electrons. But I'm still only at 10. I need to get to 15. So let's keep going, pick up at a number 11. I'm on the third level now. Third level. I'm in the S section. And I just went one, two, so two electrons. And now I'm on the third level. P section, one, two, three. So hopefully when you wrote it out for yourself, you got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. Now you notice we did fluorine last time and it was pretty short, 1s2, 2s2, 2p5, as we see over here. Um, when we drop down to phosphorus, they got a little bit longer. So we can take a shortcut and we can say, well, look, the first 10, let's change colors here, um, the first 10 electrons were actually locked up in a neon. So when we do these shortcuts, you can pick any one of the noble gases, but it has to be a noble gas. And it has to be a noble gas that has an atomic number less than the one you're looking for. So for us, that only leaves neon. So I'm going to write in neon here, and I'm going to put it in a box um, so that I can say, look, this, these first 10 electrons are being represented by the noble gas neon. So up here, the first 10 electrons are actually these two, these two, that's four, and these two, that's 10. So this is neon, and that's gonna only leave me with my valence electrons, which are 3s2 and 3p3. So you can write a shortcut, sorry about the handwriting again, uh, 3p3, and if we click on this thing, uh, if we click on phosphorus, it'll tell you 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3p3, um, and so, We've pretty much got it. Now, we need to deal with uh, a deviation from Bohr's model that's going to come up here because of the fact that if we look, um, the energy levels uh, begin to overlap each other. So if we look, take a look at the third energy level, it starts here okay, with the 3s. The 3p is a little bit higher energy, and the 3d is actually way up here with a much higher energy level. So if I were to like kind of box in the 3p to 3d orbitals here, you'll notice that there's an overlap with the 4s. So how that plays out is I'm on the fourth level here, okay, but when I get to this d section, remember we called this middle section the d section, when I get to that that D section actually belongs to the third energy level. So I'll be on the third energy level all the way to here, and then I'm going to go back to my fourth energy level. The same thing will be true here. I'm on my fifth energy level, but because of this overlap, um, this is going to be my fourth energy level through the D section back to my fifth energy level for the P section. Okay, so let's erase this and check some stuff out. So remember, fourth level means I'm on the 3D, fifth level means I'm on the 4D. So let's take a look at, say, zirconium. Now, I don't want to write out the whole thing, so let's do a shortcut. Uh, I've got an atomic number of 40, and I'm going to look for a uh, noble gas that has an atomic number less than 40, and that's going to have to be krypton. Okay, so krypton is going to be where I'm going to start, put it in a box, and I usually scribble up top that I'm taking care of 36 total electrons by writing in krypton. So I'm going to start with my 37th electron, which is my fifth level. So five, fifth level, S section, these two, 5s2. And then I'm going to go to my fourth level. So that's in the D section. And I'm going to go fourth level, D section, two blocks, 4D. 
two. So five s two four or five s two four d two will be my thing. And then let's use ptable.com. Check it out. My last two pieces are five s two four d two. So I'm pretty confident that I'm doing all right. Okay. So pause for a second and write out the electron configuration for cobalt. Okay, cobalt, how'd you do? Did yours end in 4s2, 3d7? Hope you're doing all right. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing. You'll notice that the F section is actually dropped down here, but ptable.com will allow us to see a wide version of that. And here's why you don't see that wide version very often. Uh, it basically bumps out the whole screen. So I'm going to um, shorten my screen up here a little bit. Um, and shrink down that periodic table. And you can see that the F section is now laid in here um, between the S and the D. Okay, so that might be a little bit confusing, but the wider version, here, yeah, let's scribble in some stuff. So here's my S section. This was my D section from here to here that we had before. And here's my P section that we had, and now my new section that I lifted into place is my F section. So we're really gonna fill the sixth energy level first, and then we're gonna hit, as we go through the S, we're gonna hit this um, section here, and this is actually gonna be the fourth F section. So we'll go through all the way through 4F, and as we said before, the D section is down one. So this is actually going to be 5D. So 6 goes to 4, goes to 5, back to 6. Okay. So since this is kind of difficult to work with, um, let's go back to our normal um, periodic table version here. Let's go one more bigger. Um, and let's take a look at one of these guys. So why don't we take a look at, say, um, Prometheum down here, number 61. Okay, so if we've got 61 electrons, we need to find a noble gas that has less than 61 electrons, and that would have to be xenon. So if we start with xenon, put xenon in a box, that'll take care of 54 electrons. So we'll pick it up with our 55th electron, and that's going to be on our sixth energy level in the S section, and there's two boxes. And then we're going to have to drop down into our F section. So we're going to go F section, and this is, again, this is our 4F section down here, and this is our 5F section. So we're going to hit 4F, and it's going to be our 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth one over. So 4F, 5. Now, just check. We said we had 54. 54 plus 2 is 56 plus 5 is 61, and I'm at 61. So it looks like we should be okay. Uh, let's check it out. Let's do this. And ptable.com is saying 6s2, 4f5. We are in good shape. Okay. So this is a short introduction. Uh, as one last thing, uh, I want you to try, and why don't we do Einsteinium? Take a shot at that um, and take a look. Try and write out the electron configuration for Einsteinium. And when we come back, I'll show you how ptable.com solved it. Okay, so we were looking at how ptable.com would come up with this one. And it's going to say 7s to 5f11 should be our last sections. And since it's number 99, if you were doing the shortcut, you would have to pick radon as your shortcut. So you would have written radon in a box, which takes care of 86 electrons, and then you'd have 7s2 and 5f11. So 2 plus 86 is 88, plus 11 is 99. Looks good. Okay, so hopefully you got that. Um, if so, I'm glad you are feeling confident about that and if not go back watch this video again um, and feel free to play around with ptable.com and see if you can pick up on the pattern yourself